Hi guys, I wanted to show you how you could use Tinkercad to simulate an Arduino circuit like the one we did, used in the lab this week. So I'm going to go ahead and, and log in. I, uh, now it turns out because uh, we have Google email addresses, we can use the social providers to uh, log in to Tinkercad. So I've already done that with my UND email address, but uh, you can do it as well. <clears throat> and uh, I've already cooked up a circuit. This basically is the circuit we worked on in class this week. Um, I am going to go ahead and jump into the simulator so you can see how that works. So now the thing is, they don't have the 724 that we use in class. They have something called a 741. Um, I think what I'll do, uh, let me just show you how it works and then I'm going to kind of tear it apart and put it back together again. So I'll start the simulation. You can see that uh, it's ramping up the voltage. The Arduino is running and ramping up the voltage on the output just like we did in the lab. It's got up to a little over half a volt now. You can see that the voltage at the top and the bottom of the resistor, this is the voltage at the top of the resistor. It's connected right here. That's the voltage at the bottom of the resistor and the top of the diode. Um, it gets up to almost two volts and then the diode starts to light up. So you can see it's starting to light up here and uh, it gets brighter and brighter. So it's actually not doing a bad job of simulating what's going on. And uh, also I can click on the code tab here and pull up the serial monitor and you can see that it's actually spitting out numbers. <clears throat> And you can use these numbers, just like we did in the lab, to analyze what's going on. Now, understand that you're not analyzing real data. This is simulated data from a simulated diode and a simulated amplifier, and everything else is simulated. So it, uh, it may not be truly legitimate. It really depends on how sophisticated the model is of the, of the diode that they're using. But you can actually... Uh, use this to simulate the circuit that we built. Um, you can see how the code works. Basically it sets the output pin to an output. It sets up the serial port. It goes through a loop of incrementing I by 5 each time. It does an analog write. It waits for 4 tenths of a second. Then it reads the input from analog input 1 and analog input port, or I'm sorry, 0 and 1. They're defined up here in 1 and in 2. And, uh, and then it just sits and does nothing. So that's the whole program. Uh, I'm going to stop the simulation. And uh, well, basically there's not much to it. You, we have a capacitor here that's 22 microfarads. I've got a resistor that's 1.5 kilo ohms. The resistor connected to the diode is 150 ohms. See, so you, you can change the resistance here just by editing the units and... If I want to make 158 ohms, I can. So you can make any size resistor you want. And uh, how do you get the op? Let's see, let me go ahead and get rid of the op amp here and uh, get rid of the resistor. And you can see how, how those guys go. So if I want to put a new resistor in, I just drag one. If I want, now it's not oriented correctly. So what I need to do is come over here and turn it. <coughs> There you go, and uh, let's see, how do I get it to, hmm. oh no, maybe it was oriented correctly, hang on. Yeah, I guess it was oriented correctly, so that's how it was. Um, but wait a minute, it's the wrong value, it's 1,000 ohms, I need it to be 150 ohms, so I'll put that in there, boom. Okay, now these guys are kind of fun. We don't have these in the lab. This is a multimeter, so you can connect the positive end to the voltage you want to measure. Suppose I wanted to take the voltage right off the uh, resistor. I could do that. Or I could also take a zero, take that right off. The resistor, take this right off the resistor, and let's go ahead and run it again. And 
that I broke. Oh, I got rid of the amplifier. We better get that. So I need an amplifier. There it is. Now this one is slightly different pin out. Uh, the output is pin uh, 6. The voltage of power is pin 7. Ground is pin 4. The uh, inverting input is pin 2. And the non-inverting input is pin 3. So that's how that one works. Let's go ahead and run it. There we go. All right. So that's basically the idea. Uh, good luck. I'll, I'll see you guys next time.